Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week's Oracle card guidance, I'm using Oracle of Visions. And um, I am sorry that it's not on at the beginning of the week. For the next few weeks, it's going to be in the middle of the week that I'm going to um, put out these uh, weekly Oracle card guidance just because my schedule doesn't permit me to be able to... Um, to put it out on a Sunday at the moment and perhaps later on in in March or something somewhere along the line I'll be able to revert to putting this out on a on a Sunday so uh, the best I can do at the moment is like on a Wednesday or perhaps on a Tuesday night all right so I hope you enjoy the reading anyway please go ahead and choose between the options one two and three and we can get started So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we have the number seven card here. And I would go ahead and say that this is about um, not thinking too much, not uh, leaving too much to rationality. To This is a week in which you need to go ahead and feel what is right and feel what is the way to go forward. Because the vibe I'm getting from this card is that the more time and energy spent on the intellect, spent on rationality, spent on uh, rational thought is actually going to deliver you into stupidity or rather foolishness. And it's going to take you in the opposite direction from the direction that you intend to go into. And so what's going to happen is that you, you're going to miss out on the vital bits of information that you need. And so the focus needs to be on uh, what what it feels right, what resonates, what's right for you. And you're going to know that because at that moment that you know what's right, you're making a soul connection with whatever it is and you can feel that. Um, but what's going to happen is if you keep consuming a lot of information or if you think about finding your answer through thought or through uh, logical means, what's going to happen is that less and less of it is going to make sense uh, for you. And you might um, feel more noble or you might feel uh, a little bit righteous because you've chosen to go a path uh, that is perhaps scientific or intellectual or with logic, but it's not going to, and you might feel good, You might it might prop you up, you might feel good about that, but it's not going to bring you any closer to where you need to go uh, to in terms of what you need to be doing for yourself. So spend less time on what the facts are and more time on what feels right, what what resonates for you, what is what is what makes sense to you, uh, to you as an individual, as a human? Because here, this emphasis, I think, in the upcoming week uh, is very much on who are you without the, the intellect? Who are you without your education? Who are you without thinking the way in which you've been programmed to think by your school, by your community, by your universities or colleges, uh, or whatever who are you and the emphasis is on that is on you who you are and what is the source of your information what is the source of your um, guidance your wisdom and can you tap into that a little bit more and be guided from that and I think that if you can do that you're going to find yourself in a very comfortable and very relaxed um, and very peaceful position all right so that's the only message i see right now i'm just going to look at the card and see if there's anything else here yeah i think the the basic message is that the more you educate yourself the the more um foolish you become or the less you know so the more you you try to understand what's going on in this way uh through intellect or through using your mind, um, the, the more, the less you will understand as you go along. So try to uh, find your serenity and your well-being and your peace from another source during this upcoming week. All right. So sending you all much love. I hope that message helps you, and uh, I wish you all well as you go along. So for those of you who have chosen uh, the option number two.
So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card number 39. And this is card, it's quite a beautiful card, actually. I think that it, in terms of its meaning, I also find it aesthetically pleasing. But in terms of its meaning, it's actually quite beautiful. It has a sense of having peace and wisdom and, and um, a certain understanding of who you are, a sense of uh, nobility, just in terms of who you are in understanding your soul, in understanding your purpose, and being able to tap into that and being able to understand the value of that at any given moment in time. And feels here like you're crowned. You're crowned with an achievement of your own doing. You're crowned uh, with an achievement that is not something that's achieved through um, means of somebody certifying. Sorry about that. Um, it's... It's like you're being certified not by somebody giving you an accolade and saying, okay, you've done this course and you um, and you have now, uh, you have an achievement, but rather you are, you are, it's something that you, by your virtue, you are crowned by the virtue of your achievements, by what you've done in terms of your own life, by your own journey and what you've been through and how you've handled what you've been through and where you find yourself right now and not just that but also through what you've what you're experiencing as you are going along right now i apologize for all the background sounds i just um i didn't realize i had an alarm set for this time and uh, yeah the dogs barking etc all right so apologies for all of that um and I just want to say that it feels to me that here you're in a really good space in your life. It feels to me like here, as you go along in this week, you have a lot to be grateful for. You have a lot to be happy for. You have just a resilience and a sense of peace around you. That's really, really good. And it's if you don't feel that, then I think it's something that you can easily tap into. You just have to look at who you are and what you have come through and how you work through your life. And you need to feel your power, feel your essence, feel that beauty that you are and how you, how powerful you are in that moment that you are able to leave all behind and simply tap into that which is peace. And I think, you know, you can do that in any which way by going swimming, by meditating, by going on walks and labyrinths, um, however you wish to, to do it. But here's a feeling, it's a feeling of just being able to um, allow yourself to free fall into peace and tranquility, serenity. And that is actually a beautiful feeling. So I think that the upcoming week is going to be a lot calmer for you. And you're going to find that you're able to tap into that deep sense of connectivity with yourself, with your higher self, with your soul, with your um, being, with your, with your soul tribe and your soul consciousness. And it's going to be something that can be really, really special. And I think if you aren't aware of it or you don't feel this already then take some time up in the upcoming week to, uh, time off sorry in the upcoming week to just be able to um, give yourself the recognition that you deserve um, not in you're not being arrogant or you know just being proud of yourself for what you've done and how far you've come and uh, and just giving yourself recognition for the hard work of life all right, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that message helps you and I wish you a fabulous week ahead. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, it seems to me that if you haven't yet begun your year, if you haven't yet um, begun your forward movement uh, and you're tumbling into new energy, that now this week for you is an excellent time to be able to 
begin that process. It's an excellent time to kind of think about what it is that you desire for yourself in, in your life in this year, perhaps for the next five years or two and a half years or 10 years, it doesn't matter, it's up to you, to kind of visualize um, that of what you desire. So it's almost like you need to take some time out and redefine where you're headed to and who you're going to be and how it's going to be from now onward and what is it that you truly desire. And I feel that as you do that, you are beginning the process between fertilization and the, and the actual being born into the world. And it's actually, it's like the gestation gestation period, you know, this period of manifesting or dreaming or desiring where it is that you would like to go to in your life is a gestation period for you. It's it's basically taking time off to go through that gestation period. And then as you come to the 21st to the 24th of March, what you're going to find is that you're going to start slowly, very slowly start finding the um, the rewards, the fruits of that manifestation. The, it's going to come trickling in and you're going to find that, you know, with small baby steps, you're going to be able to get to that place that you want to go to. But I think for this next week, you need to think about what it is that you desire and where it is that you want to go to. And for some of you who are planning on going in a completely different direction, that is extremely important for you to do, as well as for those of you who are still going along the same path that you've decided to go along in the last year or so, but um, you know, you just need to perhaps reaffirm where it is that you're headed and make some plans for where you headed to. And obviously think about it and feel it and bring it into manifestation. I think that there's a lot of support that you have at this time, even though you might not feel that always, there's a lot of support that you have at this time. And um, the period now is the period that you've been given to um, manifest and to gestate, you know, to bring yourself into being in the way in which you desire. And that is a space that is being respected and, and it's been given and it's been held. It's literally been held for you. So don't worry about it. Don't feel that you need to get things done quickly or do stuff uh, or you have, you know, don't be that concerned about your deadlines. Think more about what is important for you in your life. And I want to say that think about what's going to be important for you for the next, say, um, between 21 and 35 years. Okay. Think about it in that period. Okay, I know that sounds a bit strange. So perhaps from, you know, 20 to 35 year period, think about your plan for that time. Think about where you're going to be at in 20 years or where you're going to be at in 35 years. And where would you like to be? What would you like to be? And of course, you can't control everything that happens in that space. But you need to have some kind of idea of your circumstance when you are in that time, in when you have ended that time frame. And that's going to help you to be able to um, figure out what it is that you want to be doing in the next few uh, months or the next few years in your life. All right. So I ultimately, this message is really one where you are going to be held, you are going to be protected, and you can decide uh, on anything that you desire. It's an unconditional love and protection that you have, and there's nothing to be concerned about. All right. So I'm wishing you all very well. I hope that me reading has been helpful for you. They're very specific, these readings sometimes. And I hope that they, they resonate. And I hope that you are getting to see my videos because I've seen that the viewer um, viewership has really dropped. And I don't know whether it's because of the YouTube algorithm. But whatever it is, I do hope that those readings that are meant to come to you are coming to you and that you are feeling blessed and well on your path. All right, blessings abound from Kismet Rising and all the best to you all. Bye now.